Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can transfer all the automations that you have on Zapier to Make. You know that I'm a big Make fan because with Make you have so many more possibilities on what you can build with your automations. And today I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step process of how you can build the same zaps that you have on Zapier, but on Make. So let's get started. I have selected one automation that I have on Zapier. It's a very basic automation, but I will just show you how I can create the same one on Make, okay? So just to explain to you what this automation is about. So this is a basic um, notification automation. So every time I get a new call book, I get a notification on a certain Slack channel. Okay, so again, very, very basic. But on this automation, I have a filter and also I have three different paths. So you can see how this will look like on Make. Okay, when I get a new event created, I'm filtering to a certain event that I want to send the, the notification to Slack. And then I have three different paths um, according to the, the type of event that I'm doing, if it's, if it's a raw robin, if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, or if it's a type of event that I have with a partner, okay? And then I go and I send the notification on Slack with the um, name of the event, email, revenue, channel, and when the event is happening, okay? Let's create the same one here on Make. So this is a blank um, automation and I'm gonna build this together with you. Okay, so the trigger of the automation is gonna be Calendly. Um, so you can select this um, module here, this um, trigger here, which is watch events. So every time you get a new event, this automation will be triggered. This is a webhook. So you have to choose a webhook here. I have our one already selected, but you can add one you can select your your Connolly account and then you select the type of event that you want to trigger. If it's just when a new event is created or if a new event is canceled, okay? But anyways, I already had an event here, a, a webhook selected here. So this is gonna be the trigger of the automation, okay? Then as I mentioned to you there, I'm gonna select is select and then we have create a message so that's the action that we want to do after we get a new event booked so i'm going to select create a message i'm going to get my slag here and i'm going to select the list of private channels here okay so i have selected the channel so the channel the channel's name is lead calls booked Okay, and the text. And then I'm gonna show you how you can create the text from the event here, okay? Now, uh, remember that we have two different settings here on the Zapier. We have the different paths and we also have a filter, okay? So for the different paths, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a router, okay? So the, the router, will help you create many different paths here on Make. And this is one of the, the things that I like more about Make compared to Zapier, because on Zapier you have a limitation of only adding five paths, but here it's unlimited. You can have as many different paths as you want, and it's much easier to create a new path here, okay? So you are creating the path. And one thing that I like to do here on, on Make, especially if you are working with a webhook, is to trigger the webhook so you can get the data output. And then you can use the data output to add here on the action and also to use on your filters and paths, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is to basically create in a test event so you can see it working okay so a test 
this is here twitter schedule event so you can see that i got a new event here and these are the details of the event that i just booked the test event that i just booked okay and again this is um important so we can then use on the other steps of the automation okay so as i have here this future that, that has contains discovery so here is how we can use the same filter on make you can create a label so let's say that this Discovery only you can select the name of the event which is this one here you can see that it's called automation discovery call the name of the event and i will add a contain this cover that's it so you can see the same filter as on zapier it's now on make okay and then i have the, the different paths here but before I add the other paths, let me add the text that I want here. So the name of the person that just booked the event. So you can see here that now you have all the data that we got from the webhook. So you can select the name, then let's select the email. And for uh, the questions that you get from Calendly, there is a slight difference on how you can map the answers here because here we get an array okay so um there are different ways to work with an array here but the way the way that i'm gonna do this now um just to show you it's a more simple way which basically you can use so let's say that source okay so i want i want to add here to the text the source of that lead the source of the call to, that was just booked Okay, so I, I use a map a gap function, okay, and then a map function. So I'm gonna map the answer for the questions that I want here answer. So here I select the the array. Okay, so you can you can see that this is the array, and then I select answer, and then you you can map the question that you want the answer to so question and then you select so in this case the question was how did you hear about us and then you select one which is the first answer so uh, the first one then you got then you closed you closed um, the whole function okay and you can do the same way for all the different questions that you need the answers to okay i'm not gonna add all of them uh, I just wanted to show you this example, but now you have your Slack action ready and now you can create the different paths. So this first path, as I have there on Zapier, is for the, the L event. So the events that contains the L on the name of the event. So what I do is that I map here the event name contains L, okay? So that's one path that I have here. And then what I like to do is just copy and paste so you can create a different path. And here you can have does not contain L and you can select the type of the event. Because again, this is the same one that I have there on Zapier. And then I will name here not L. So now you have two different paths for this automation. Okay, so um, of course I'm not going to create all the other ones, but um, this is just um, for the example. Okay, so as you can see, we have the trigger that is from, from Kali. We have the filter that we are using also on Zapier. Then you have the different paths according to the event name. Okay, so you have L and you have not L. And then you have the messages here. And of course, you can customize. So if it's not L, you can say that type not L. Just for the sake of this example. Okay, so again it's it, it may seem a little bit more complex on make and it is but it gives you so much more flexibility and you can create 
many different paths and different automations here. So that's why I like Make better than Zapier. And of course, that there is no easier way to transfer all your zaps to Make, but you can create exactly same zaps that you have there on Zapier here on Make, and then you can start to make them better. You can start to add different paths. You can start to add different actions and make it way more um, complex and adding many more possibilities to your processes and to your um, automation. Thanks for watching. Hope you will like this video. Hope that by now you are able to start building your automations on Make and transferring all the apps that you have on Zapier and start taking your automations to the next level. As always, if you need any help, if you have any questions, if you need help to build automations for your business, click on the link down below so we can get on a call together and I can show you how automation can really help scale your business. Thank you.